When firefighters arrived, there were dozens of cars burning, and inside those cars, all the ingredients for much more than a fire. Well, Chief Robert Hendricks says some of the automobiles still contain gasoline, antifreeze, radiator, and other fluids. Smoke from the fire inside the Cahill Industrial Park off Old Frankfort Pike could be seen throughout and beyond Lexington. While fire officials don't know where the blaze began, they do know it consumed part of a warehouse owned by CNA Asphalt, which rented a portion to Baker Iron and Steel. That they dismantled vehicles there and, and uh, took them apart for salvage, and uh, we think it was probably related to that. Baker Iron and Steel has a contract to dispose of old cars turned in as part of the Cash for Clunkers program. Those cars may not be drivable, but they're still dangerous. Uh, as we remove the cars one by one by one, um, they're still finding spot fires and parts of cars. You know, there's a lot of combustibles on board uh, in addition to, to the fuels. Hendricks says if winds hadn't lifted the smoke away or rain had kept it near the ground, firefighters, workers, and nearby residents could have been in danger. And Chief Hendricks estimates about one-fifth of the CNR building collapsed when all the workers who'd been inside got out safely. And so did the men and women who fought the fire. In Lexington, John McGarry, ABC 36 News.